some of my shot mustache stuff okay i've been kind of like chilling hanging out enjoying my birthday month dang my birthday month is over you know what i need to start celebrating my birthday earlier in july <laughs> so i can get the whole month because my birthday is on the 25th but anyway that's not what you came for okay so i'm going to be using my shot mustache stuff and the palette that i'm using today is a palette that was sent to me from gourmand girls cosmetics um and it's the spectra palette so this is what she looks like it's actually a collab palette it says gourmand girls times krista rice makeup which i'm not familiar with krista rice makeup or with gourmand girls but we're going to check this palette out today it kind of gives me that like psychedelic 70s feel you know the whole packaging that's what it looks like to me really cute so on the back here it says that it is cruelty free and it says the gourmand girls spectra palette was curated with you in mind from bright vivid colors to dreamy shimmers this inclusive collection of shadows is a striking kaleidoscope of colors perfect for everyone from the beginning makeup artist to the advanced makeup professional okay enjoy this vegan palette and the best that indie beauty has to offer so that's what it says here on the back very very cute so it is cruelty free and vegan now there is a mirror in this palette as you can see i won't blind you and it does say gourmand girls right here i do have on my jammies so <laughs> I'm going to be careful not to show you guys, you know, all my little jammies. But anyway, this is what the palette looks like and very, very pretty, very bright, beautiful collection of shades, as you can see here. Now, I do wish just looking at the cover, you know, I see this beautiful green going across here and I feel like there needs to be like a beautiful bold bright green in here i think this shade up here looks like it's supposed to be kind of like a neon green you see that there but i kind of feel like when i put it on at least on my skin tone it's probably gonna look yellow to be honest with you it's probably just gonna look yellow on me so i do wish that there was a green a deep green or bright green in here just to kind of match the whole theme but other than that, it's really, really pretty. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to do some swatches right quick just so I can kind of get a feel and gather my thoughts as far as what I want to do because I'm not sure what I want to do with this palette. So let's do some swatches and then we will jump into this eye look. And I'm going to try and fit this whole palette on my arm if I can. I started running out of room, so I went ahead and put the last two shades in the front. So after swatching it out, this is a very, very pretty color story. Very gorgeous shades. Um, not sure if I know. Ooh, this is really pretty. This shimmer here. Still not sure if I know exactly what I want to do. So as usual, you guys, we're just going to jump right in. So I'm going to clean off these swatches, prep my lids with some... P. Louise base and then we'll jump into an eye look. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to start out with this kind of orangey type shade here, which is called Orange Crush. And I'm gonna work that in my crease. 
and I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to do that. You guys know typically when I start out on an eye look, if I'm not sure what I want to do, I just kind of blow something out in my crease and work around it. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay. So I feel like my lighting might be a little crazy today, but it's going to have to do. I am, I don't know if it's like a personality trait of mine or something, but um, it's like I constantly have to like move my room around and change things in my room. Like I'm never satisfied with it, never. It's like I'm always trying to organize it, always trying to, ooh, it's nicely pigmented. Always trying to make it more efficient more appealing to my eyes so when I come in here to do my makeup you know it just makes me want to do my makeup when I come in my room because sometimes when it's in disarray it doesn't give me that nice zen feeling that I need you know to do my makeup so anywho you guys watch my videos and you see the background kind of changed a lot that's why it's a personality trait that I have <laughs> unfortunately and at my age it's not gonna change okay so anyway this color is gorgeous I really like it very very pretty it's blending out nice and smooth and even and we definitely like that for a color like this not patchy at all it's working out nice Okay, so very, very nice. You guys know I have no desire to stress over uh, eye look, so <laughs> moving on. Um, yeah, I need to deepen up my crease, so I am going to go, mm, do I want to do the red? Mm, I think I'm going straight for the purple, so I'm going to go for this purple shade up here, which is a purple matte called Butterfly Kisses, and I'm going to place that in my crease. And I'm going to use one of my e.l.f. crease brushes. It's just like a little bit more of a dense brush, not so fluffy, so I can get that right where I want it to be. So listen, what did you guys do this weekend? I had a pretty, a pretty fun weekend. Pretty fun. Hung out with my daughter. Um... I saw not too long ago that our improv, our comedy house out here, you know, close by where I live, started listing new events. And so, you know, of course, I've been kind of dying to just kind of have a little fun, get out, do some things safely, of course. Um, your girl is fully vaccinated. But, yeah, so they started listing some new events and everything. Very, very pretty. I love purple and orange together, like how they blend. I just really, really do. Very, very pretty. But, anywho, so I bought some tickets to see Sherry Shepard and Kim Whitley at the Improv, you know, not even knowing, you know, who I was going to asked to go with me because you know my husband he doesn't want to see that but I just bought the tickets and so invited my daughter and we had so much fun we had a blast I had no idea I mean I know Sherry and Kim are very funny very very funny hilarious but I had no idea just how funny that they are together how well they play off each other and in person, you know, because sometimes you can see people on TV, online, and it's like, okay, you know, they're funny, whatever. But no, I have not laughed that hard in so long. And honestly, it really felt good to just get out and, you know, just have a good time with my daughter and everything. So that was really fun, but that's what I did this weekend. Um, yeah. I didn't really do anything super crazy or wild for my birthday. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I pretty much just went by the beach, <laughs> stayed in a nice little resort by the beach, and just kind of chilled out. You know, sometimes you have to just do that to 
you know, kind of just adjust, get away from the hustle and bustle and the grind of things, you know, so that's what I did. So what did you guys do this weekend? Did you do anything fun? You know, I at first when I heard that they were, you know, kind of opening back up, I knew they would, of course, eventually. But when I heard they were opening the comedy store or, you know, the improv back up, initially I was like, okay, like really? But, you know, I feel like with a lot of people getting vaccinated and with you still having the choice, you know, to wear a mask and things like that, um, you know, whatever makes you feel more comfortable to get out and be around people along with social distancing and stuff, you know, you got to be smart, you got to be safe, you know, there's a lot of things going on that's not necessarily safe, um, but, you know, you have to protect yourself. And I do believe that it is a personal choice. You know, some people might be wearing masks for the rest of their lives, you know, just because, you know, it's some stuff out here. <laughs> you know, I kind of feel like, shoot, I should have been wearing a mask even pre-COVID, you know, just because of stuff that's out here and people coughing and being in confined spaces with people. You know, especially like on airplanes and stuff, child. I'm like, shoot, I might be wearing a mask for the rest of my life in certain situations, you know? Vaccinated or not. But anywho, I'm just running my mouth. So this purple purple is really, really pretty. Um, it is blending in nicely with this orange. And I love these like dense crease brushes because you can really place the shadow where you want it to go. And then you can also just kind of buff it in and blend it into, you know, the shadow that is above it or before it, whatever the case may be. So I'm just kind of placing this down, getting it to the pigmentation that I want. And then going back in with a little bit of that orange and just making sure that the edges are nicely blended. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Okay, so I'm really liking this whole kind of sunset vibe, but I wanna go in with some of these bold shimmers on my crease because they swatched out really, really gorgeous. So I think I'm going to start with this really pretty blue shade. It's like a dark blue absolutely gorgeous and yeah I want to do something kind of crazy with this halo type look so and I'm not even going to I'm not even going to like spray my brush I don't think oh very pigmented <laughs> so I just want to kind of go in and apply and just see what happens you know I'm just curious because I want to do like a three color type thing. So let's see how this works out. Do you guys find that when you sit down to do your makeup that you kind of do like the same, you know, you just go in exact same way, you know, however that is. Like for me, I like to, you know, kind of start out in my crease you know blowing something out and then either deepen it up depending if I'm going light to dark or dark to light you guys see this pigmentation this is gorgeous um you definitely don't need to spray your brush for the pigmentation you might want to spray it just for a tiny bit of fallout that I'm getting but honey you know when I, that's why I like to do my eyes first because I don't care. I can just wipe my face off, you know, not a big deal. But yeah, the pigmentation on this color is gorgeous. Really, really pretty. But yeah, I like to kind of just go in my usual way, especially if I don't know what it is that I want to do with my eyes. I'll just kind of blow out something in the crease, deepen it up decide do I want to do a cut crease do I want to do a halo eye do I want to just pop a shimmer on the lid <laughs> and go from there so you know sometimes I feel like you know it can kind of get boring you know 
if someone is watching me do my makeup, they might feel like, oh, she's doing the same, going in the exact same way, doing the same style, the same type of look, blah, 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 just different colors. So hopefully you guys don't get bored with watching me, you know, do eye looks or put on makeup or whatever because, you know, it can kind of feel that way sometimes, like, they don't want to see that again, but, you know, I've kind of like really slowed down on just trying out different, <laughs> look at me, I'm getting it all under my eyes, it's not fallout, that's me not knowing where to put my brush, okay, but, um, yeah, we're just doing different eye looks like I used to, just like, you know palettes 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 but oh that's pretty i could just pop on some eyeliner blend that out a little bit good to go but no we're gonna put some more color <laughs> so i really want to do something with this red shimmer it's kind of like a pinky red i think y'all know i can't see that well but it's called strawberry jam and that purple shade is called sapphire so let's put some strawberry jam next to the sapphire i might just put it all through the center and then pop a lighter shade on top but let's see what happens so yeah it's funny because that was my daughter's first time ever going to a comedy show i've been to a comedy you know quite a few times and I love it you know I love to laugh I love to have a good time especially getting out you know whether it's with girlfriends or my husband but I love a good comedy show and the improv they always have like really big names you know really famous people that you've heard of that you've seen on TV or in movies and stuff so it's really cool but yeah that was her first comedy show I went over that purple a little bit too much but that was her first comedy show and she said she enjoyed it she had a really good time we were sitting right up front and when I mean right up front like her elbow could rest on the stage that's how <laughs> that's how up front we were which can be nerve-wracking at a comedy show but you know I wasn't worried about it you know, if you're not out there looking crazy or nothing, then, you know, nine times out of ten, you're not going to get picked on. But, yeah, they, like, zeroed in on her because, you know, the topic was the different things you go through and changes you go through as an older woman. Sherry Shepard zeroed in on my daughter and was just like, oh, you sitting here looking all young and perky and cute, you know, like, girl, just wait, just wait. So it was hilarious, you know, and I, I know my daughter was probably, like, uncomfortable, first of all, with it being her first comedy show, and then us sitting right up front, and then her getting, you know, zeroed in on, but, you know, I had a good time, honey. I was cracking up. That mess was hilarious. So, yeah, it just felt nice to kind of get out and you know just relax laugh enjoy you know it's just so much going on right now that it can be a bit much so i had a good time okay so now i'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of that matte purple shade and just blend out the edges of shimmer so it doesn't look so so harsh your girl is looking harsh okay okay so let's go ahead brighten up the center a little bit because honey oh it's tough this shade here is so so pretty when I swatched it it's gorgeous and then there's this shade down here which is really pretty but I think I'm gonna go in with this shade because it's not as light um, that shade is fantasy and it actually looks like it has kind of like a peachy, a peachy tone to it. So I just want to tap just a bit, not too much, just a little bit, just to brighten it up just a hint. How does that look? That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. I can definitely live with that. Yeah, that's pretty. 
So I will put the pricing for this palette on the screen. I don't know it off, um, you know, the top of my head. So I will put the information regarding that on the screen. But yeah, that's really, really pretty. I'm liking that. I'm gonna do just a little bit more blending. You know, you gotta have your stuff blended, okay? Don't be out here looking crazy. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some eyeliner and then we'll move on to the rest of the face using my Shop My Stash stuff. Okay, you guys, so you know how I said I wish that there was a little bit of a darker green in this palette, brighter <laughs> brighter green, so that, you know, it could kind of go with the flow of the packaging. I decided to go with a green liner. What? <laughs> okay, we just getting wild today. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this darker green liner. This one is from NBA Cosmetics. It's one of their aqua liners. And honey, called Soul Train. Very, very pretty. Or I have this like super light, bright green water activated liner from Makeup by Tammy. So this is one of hers. I might actually do like light in the beginning and dark on the end. I don't know, but honey, y'all yeah, see when I'm done. Ooh, okay, child. Any imperfections you see, just ignore them. Just ignore them, okay? If you have any idea how hard it is to do water-activated liners and lash and all that stuff without it looking crazy, you feel me. <laughs> uh, if you guys hear the fan, it's because my hot flashes are kicking in. So let's go ahead and move on to this face. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go in with is this Huda Beauty Primer. It is very very how can I say it's one of those like water feeling primers but it feels really really good I find that I really like these type of primers they're just so hydrating on my skin and I like how my makeup sits on it so I definitely really like this from Huda Beauty Okay, so next you guys know I like to go in and kind of tone down my dark circles and hyperpigmentation, which, hello. <laughs> so I'm just going in with my Essence Camouflage Concealer today, just to kind of tone those down a bit. And this is just a personal preference, you know. Some people are able to, you know, cover up their dark circles or camouflage underneath their eyes enough with the concealer over their foundation, under their foundation. I typically use this, you know, to kind of even out my skin before foundation. And then I use another concealer to help brighten the areas on my face that I want to brighten and highlight. So, you know, if you wonder why I use two concealers, this is why. Okay, so now that I've kind of evened out my face a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this Clinique Super Balanced, what is it, Silk Makeup, and it has SPF 15 in it. Now, I have used this one time before. I definitely need to use it again right now because it looks super duper light and it's so crazy because it looks way too light when I put it on. So that's what you're going to think when I put it on. But then when I went in and blended it out with the brush, it just kind of melted into my skin. So we gonna see what happens today. Okay. <laughs> if my eyes was playing tricks on me or if it actually does work for me. So yeah. You see that? But when you really look at it and look at my chest and my neck area, you know? <laughs> so let me go ahead and just apply and blend this out. So you see what I mean? Very, very nice finish. I really like it. And it's definitely, you know, working with my skin tone for sure. But when I first put it on, I was like, child, that is too light. But, you know, it just kind of melts into my skin. 
and it works out. And a lot of times I feel like, mm, it's kind of hard to tell with my skin tone because my face can be quite a bit darker than my chest and my neck and stuff. So child, who knows, but it's gonna work today, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this Kylie concealer that I got free from Ulta, I believe. And this shade, it's a really nice shade for me. It's not like super brightening or anything like that. It's a little bit brightening, but not as brightening as I would typically want. And I don't really like to go super, super bright under my eyes, but a little bit of brightness helps. So, but as far as coverage and blendability, I feel like this concealer actually is really, really nice. I would probably just get maybe one shade lighter. But it's also because this foundation is a very light shade of foundation on me. So, you know, some foundations are a little lighter, some are a little darker. This one is lighter, <laughs> so this concealer doesn't look as bright, but I do like the way that it blends out on my skin. Okay, you guys, don't judge me. This is not a part of my shop, my stash, but okay, I just, I had to try them out. I was dying to try out a new powder. I know. So I picked up these new NYX powders. This one is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop, and what shade is this? Mocha? You know, I don't even know if these are new. Maybe they're just new to me, okay? But this one is in Mocha, so I'm gonna use this to set my face. And this one is in Golden. So I'm gonna use this under my eyes and uh, set that concealer first. So I'm just gonna go in with a brush today to try this out. And with this powder being so light, it will help to brighten up these areas where the concealer, you know, is not as bright. So this powder is definitely brightening and it is setting actually very nicely. I'm not mad at it. Okay. Okay, and to set my face, I'm gonna go in with the mocha. So the mocha is not as dark as I would like but it's setting my face perfectly fine. I have no complaints. I actually really, really like this powder. It's a very, very nice, fine powder for it to be, you know, pressed. Very, very nice, fine powder. Um, but I feel like <clears throat> the next powder up would be too dark for me, so we just got to work it out and you know, I always bronze anyway, so it's all good. So for bronzer and blush today, I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill little duo thing here. This one is the combo palette that I got. I showed it in my last haul and shot my stash. So this is what this looks like. Very, very pretty. And I have used this once already and I actually really, really like it, so. Let's see if I still like it, or if I was just having a good, a good complexion day. Yeah, it's very, very nice. It, um, it blends out super easily. It's like, you know, I don't have to worry about having a big, dark bruise on the side of my face. You know, and I like to apply my bronzer a little bit more gently now anyway, just to kind of start out until I get a feel of how it's gonna look. But I like it. Bronzer, 
no bronzer. Bronzer, no bronzer. Oh, wow. This is one of my makeup addiction brushes, I guess. Nice big fluffy powder brush. It's nice, it's like a softer brush. It's not super harsh or anything, so it's very, very easy to work with. I like it a lot. It is applying this bronzer very, very nicely. I love a bronzer that I don't have to be scared of. It just kind of warms me up a bit. I like it. Now this blush on the other hand, <laughs> this blush is very pigmented, so I have to be very careful with this blush. So I'm just gonna tap just a bit. And this color, it looks really, really pretty with this eye look. I think it matches pretty well. So we just gonna drag it up. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, I like that. Okay, you guys, so next time I go in with this Touch and Soul is the new Glodiant palette that they came out with. And I'm gonna go in with these two shades here, I think, to highlight with. Well, Y'all, these hot flashes do not be playing, okay? So I'm gonna go in with some of my Milani Make It Last setting spray, and I'm just, I like to just kinda go in and set all of the powder products in place before I finish up my eyes. And while that's drying, I'm going to put something on my lips because I always feel like just a blank piece of paper when I don't have anything on my lips. So I'm gonna use my ColourPop and Elry Lip Liner. Y'all know this is my favorite. Oh, I love this color. <laughs> I love it. And I'm going to go in with this um, like matte lipstick. It's kind of like a nude, kind of light peachy shade um, just in the center. Just to create a little bit of an ombre type lip. And that's going to work for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up the lower lash line and the mascara and we'll be good you guys so what are we thinking do we want to just do black lash line with purple do we want to do green i think i'm gonna keep it simple because i got a lot going on on the top so i think i'm just gonna do a black on my waterline and maybe a little bit of the purple to smoke it out I know you guys, I really need to do something with these nails, but y'all gonna have to bear with me, honey, cause sometimes, you know, I just wanna chill. <laughs> so, yeah, I had on like some really bright blue nails to match my toes not too long ago, but I wasn't feeling them. So yeah, I need to go get my nails done, but yeah, I like the black. I like the black so I'm just gonna go back in with that purple matte and just smoke it out uh, a little bit oh that's pigmented okay okay that is really pretty you guys I thoroughly enjoyed using this palette I really really did let me go ahead and put some mascara on my lower lashes Okay, you guys, so this is like basically it for today's face um, and eye look. I am not going to get all dressed up all cute and fancy because I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day in my jammies. So <laughs> this is it. I love, love, love the way this palette performed. Okay, listen, I feel bad because I was supposed to try out their highlighter palette and I totally forgot. But I am going to try it out and I will let you guys know in my next Shop My Stash. 
how I feel about it. It's really pretty though. Um, let me show it to you. Okay, so this is what the highlighter palette looks like. Look at that, it's so pretty. Um, yeah, it's called Bold and Brilliant by Gourmand Girls Cosmetics. And it has these different shades in here. Really, really pretty. Um, let me go ahead and swatch it for you, okay? So, but it looks like it has different shades for different skin tones, of course. But yeah, let me go ahead and swatch it for you. It definitely has, you know, the different tones, different shades in there. So let me just blend them out a little bit. And then this last one here, of course, is the one that I would go in with. So those are just swatches of this highlighter palette from Gourmand Girls Cosmetics. It's really pretty. So yeah, I'm sorry I forgot to use it. I was too excited about using that other one from Touch and Soul, which I really love as well. But yeah, this is the look, you guys. This is it. So I'm pretty much enjoying everything, I think, from my Shop My Stash. You guys let me know what you think. I feel like everything is working for me right now. I have some other items to play with and try out. Also, let me know if you like these type of videos. I know some of you guys have said that you do like the chit chat, get ready with me type videos, but I don't know, I'm still not sure. So anyway, I will, if you do, then I will do another one using another palette and some more of my Shop My Stash products, but this is it for pajama day, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Definitely hit that like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles! Okay.